So with this video, I wanted to take the most boring product I know and turn it into a cool commercial. This is how to make potatoes look sexy. Mm, fresh potatoes. There's nothing quite like our triple cooked french fries made daily in the restaurant from fresh local potatoes. Mm, soft on the inside, crunchy on the outside. Mm, mm. How's it going y'all? Awesome to see you tuned back in. As a filmmaker, I always want to challenge myself and with this shoot, I wanted to do exactly that and film a commercial of the most boring product I know, a potato. I mean, you don't always get to film for a sexy gin company or make a flamey hot sauce commercial. So I thought, what better way to prove my skills than to pick a dull, boring product and try to make that look sexy. I mean, it is a potato, and um, no matter how you film a potato, potato is still a potato. I started by browsing through different potato title videos online just to get some inspiration. I wanted to show potatoes journey, how potatoes turn into french fries. I still didn't have like a full shot list in mind though, just a few cool shot ideas, but that was a perfect place to start. I'm gonna need a potato cutter to make my own fries, a large fish tank, and then I'm gonna need a large bag of potatoes. That's pretty much it. The trickiest shot, like what I'm trying to pull with these fries and with this potato, it's the transition shot where this potato shoots up like so. It sort of just transitions and explodes to these french fries. So this was the first shot I filmed and definitely the most trickiest shot in this video. It would also determine if the story from potatoes to fries was gonna work out or not. This shot is a combination of two separate shots. One shot of a potato flying towards the camera and one shot of fries flying towards the camera. It took a few good takes to get it right. The height and the position needed to be just perfect so these two shots would match already on camera. With simple masking and playing around with scale, position, and opacity levels, I managed to combine these two together. I also took a profile shot of the fries falling to make the sequence just a second or two longer to give the fries more air time. Next up, frying the potatoes. Large fish tank. So I bought myself a fish tank to get a shot of the fries falling down to the fryer. Always wanted to do underwater filming, so I was pretty stoked about getting this. This is gonna take a while. I placed the tank in front of a deep blue backdrop and started setting up the lights. We're gonna light it so that the key light is gonna be somewhat on top of the water. And then with this small LED, we're gonna light from the other side. And with this orange, gel we're gonna imitate the oil or the grease where we're gonna deep fry the fries. So I open up my aperture to get the sharpest shots possible. To create an illusion that this was a fryer and not a fish tank, I had my girlfriend Dora shooting water to the tank. This formed bubbles around the fries and made it look like it was a hot boiling oil. I then filmed a follow-up close-up shot from an actual frying moment and also tossing off the already cooked fries. These shots played together sell the idea of the tank being used as a fryer. With fresh eyes and new ideas, I'll return to my potato video the next day. I'm liking the shots that I took yesterday. I don't have my opening shot and um, it just needs something grand. So um, I feel like I need to go to the store because we need a lot more potatoes. Okay, I came back from the store with two bags full of potatoes. I mean, the, the guy at the store looked at me all crazy. I mean, yeah, I mean, I don't blame the guy. After all, I bought like, I don't know, 20 bags of potatoes. So my plan for the opening shot was to have a massive bag full of potatoes just falling down and to have all these potatoes rolling out from the back towards my camera. I placed all the potatoes I bought into this brown paper bag and I had my girlfriend behind my backdrop knocking the bag over on command. The bag just fell down and I wanna have a next shot where a potato is rolling and then bouncing off from another potato and that's gonna lead 
to the shot where we have the potato up in the air poof, exploding into french fries. This shot had to be done in a way where I would reverse the clip in post to make it look like it came out rolling from the back and after a couple of bounces would jump up to that shot we took yesterday. I also added a locked on stabilization effect to the potato bouncing to add more action to this shot. Even though I wasn't gonna add any brands to this film when I first started, I don't know, I just thought this would deserve a brand ending. And I absolutely love this brand called Friends and Burgers. They also make their own fries and they match perfectly to the ones I made. So I decided to shoot my fries falling shot with their wrapping paper splays on a table. And the final ending shot where I have a hand picking up a fry from Friends and Burgers perfect sidekick tray. The perfect sidekick to your burger. Mm, fresh potatoes. There's nothing quite like our triple cook friend. Okay, so um, because the film is titled How to Make Potatoes Look Sexy, I thought what better way to add more sex to the potato than a southern voiceover. So I found this guy on Fiverr. He's, I don't know, from Texas or something. And he does voiceovers for uh, radio commercials and his voice was just perfect. So I just messaged him asking, can you do a Southern accent and just make it sound like really, really sexy. <laughs> and he just sent me the, uh, the audio file and it is just perfect. I think it is just perfect. I mean, the beginning. Mm, fresh potatoes. <laughs> it's just perfect. And in the end, this voiceover actually gave me an idea for one more shot to add to the film to add that biting lip shot to the film right before we cut into the ending shot. I just feel like it really supports the voiceover and also the footage where you really want to take a bite out of those fries. Mm. Oh, okay, shoot is done. And the only thing that there is left to do is to clean this house. I always hate this bit, it needs to be done. Why did the potato sit down? It was a couch potato. <laughs> <laughs> okay guys, that is it for this video. Definitely was a fun challenge for myself to create something cool and sexy out of something that's dull and just boring. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Mm, fresh potatoes. There's nothing quite like our triple cooked french fries made daily in the restaurant from fresh local potatoes. Mm, soft on the inside, crunchy on the outside. Mm, mm.